Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be covering how to combine images rendered out of Unreal Engine 5 into a video file using DaVinci Resolve. Though you can use many different editing software in order to combine the images, I've decided to show you DaVinci Resolve because it is both free and incredibly powerful. So we need to start by downloading the software and installing it. And once we've done that, go ahead and open it. And you should see this window. And this is where we can either open existing projects or create new projects. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project and hit create. All right. So this is going to be our editing software and it looks complicated, but it's kind of simply divided into a few different steps, which you can see here at the bottom. The first thing we're going to do is import media, which is the first step here. So I'll click on media. The first thing I have to do is open my settings and prepare this project for the type of footage that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the resolution. What we rendered out of Unreal Engine was 3840 by 2160. So I'm going to choose that option here. And I'm going to choose my frame rate as 30 frames per second. Next, we're going to jump over to the color management tab. In here, we want to be changing the input lookup table. And we're going to scroll down here till we find linear to sRGB. The reason we need to do this is because we're rendering EXRs out of Unreal Engine. And the EXRs have a certain color space, and we need to convert that color space to sRGB so that they look the same as when we were looking at them inside of the engine. If you were rendering out a PNG or a JPEG sequence, you wouldn't need to do this. This is just a specific workflow for when you're using particularly EXRs rendered out of Unreal Engine. All right, let's go ahead and hit save. Finally, we need to change one last thing, which is by clicking on these three dots and under frame display mode, choosing sequence. This will tell DaVinci Resolve to import the string of images that we've rendered out of Unreal Engine as one clip. So now I'm going to scroll down and find my movie renders. Inside of that folder, you can see all the specific shots that we rendered out. And because we've changed it to sequence, again, you should see shot one, frame 1254 to 1406. And so each of these are individual shots, but they are divided by their name. So let's just double check these shots that they came in okay. Looks good. So I'm going to grab all of these shots and drag them into my media pool so that I can use them later in my edit. So I'm going to hit the edit button down here at the bottom and I need to put these clips into a timeline. This is the area where that my timeline is going to show up and I'm going to be dragging the clips into it. So to make a new timeline, I click on the file menu and hit new timeline or I can press control N. The timeline I will call the name of my film and I'll hit create. So now I have an empty timeline with a video and audio track. And this is the area where I'll be dragging in some of these clips. And I can actually just go ahead and drag it straight into the edit here. If I drag the playhead along, you can see it playing through the clip. For the purposes of this video, we are not going to cover the editing process inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you would like to learn more about how to do this, as well as other ways to use Unreal Engine as a filmmaking tool, Check out my online course, Making a Film in Unreal Engine 5. It covers the full process, all the way from gathering reference to exporting your finished film. This course has everything you need to get up and running without any prior experience. Check out the link in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and export either our single clip or a sequence of clips, whichever you have. So we're going to hit the deliver button here in the bottom right corner. And the first thing we get is this settings window here on the left. Up at the top here, we have a bunch of preset export settings. For example, if you're exporting to YouTube, um, we can choose a 4K option for YouTube. Right here, we can rename the file that we're exporting. We can also choose to export an H.264 master, which is the one that we're going to do in this case. I'm going to choose it, type in the file name and under the video settings here, I want to render a single clip. The format will be QuickTime in our case, and the codec will be 
H.264. Under the resolution, I need to make sure I have the correct resolution and frame rate. The quality will make as best. And the rest of the settings you can pretty much leave the way they are. I don't believe there's anything else we need to change under the advanced tab. As you become more comfortable with these settings, you can tweak them, but this is great for us. I'm going to go ahead and click add to render queue. We need to choose a location to render our video to and hit save. Once I do that, it will add a render job to the right top corner here. Now, this does not mean that it is rendering currently. You can actually add a bunch of different renders here from different edits. You can have DaVinci Resolve render them one after the other in a sequence, which is why it is called a render queue. You can make an export for YouTube. You can make an export for Vimeo. You can make an export for Twitter and add them all to the render queue. And then you can go ahead and hit render all at once. If we have a particular job selected, it will render that particular job by itself. But if we have no job selected here, it will render all of the jobs. So it'll render job one and then job two. So now that job one has completed, it's going to go ahead and render out my YouTube version. So now that our renders are complete, I can go and find them in the folder I saved them into. And now we have two outputs that we've made. I'm going to go ahead and open one of them and hit play. And there you go. You've rendered out your edit. Congratulations. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.